Hey, welcome to Let's Beer and Rhyme. I'm Colin, and I'm a little scared. Um, I seem to be elec- er, electrically uh, charged right now. Yeah, I, um, you got some cling on you. Yeah, I I have no idea you what gotta, the... You gonna get the thing, or are you just gonna abandon it? No, no, it? We, already, we already did. We already got the treasure up there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, um... Oh, wait, 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 don't destroy it. Then you could have... Well. Uh, no, we can't. It's too small. Oh. It's just large enough for him to drop fucking gears on me. See, we have to go up the other end. You know, all right, well, whatever. Slower. All right. Slower. Okay. Go okay. slowly. But uh, seriously, folks, I am, um, I am like, just anything I'm touching metal is just shocking me. And I am barefoot, on the ground. I have no idea what's happening. What a shocking development. Ha! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have no idea what's going on. Science has failed me. Science never fails me. What ah, is ah, God. You know what? I'm not even going to deal. Oh, well, shit. And... I want to know the kind of magic that just produces gears. Magic science. Magic science. I need that turkey. I thought it was chicken. Is it turkey? Some sort of fowl. Maybe. I don't know. Be a nice brisket. Grouse. Pheasant. Maybe a very large quail. You ever had quail? Uh, yes. Huh. I think so. Once or twice. Hmm. What's the weirdest meat you've ever had? Hmm. Interesting question. Um. Weirdest meat. Mm hmm. I've had kangaroo. I've had emu. You you, you already uh, you already taught mine kangaroo. Um, had something really weird about a month or two ago. What was it? I've had alligator. I haven't had gator yet. I want to try that. It's, it's not that great. I don't know. I I never really had animals that had the ability to eat me. Those, those kind of are hard to keep around. But, you know, their tendency to eat people. I mean, the lack of flavor for and toughness of the gator is balanced out by the fact that you're essentially eating a dinosaur. That's pretty cool. It is. Oh! There we go. I don't know. What's, uh... If you could eat... Okay, okay. If you could eat any animal, no, uh, no consequences. Like, endangered species. Or on this mm -hmm. on this list, right? Mm -hmm. What would you have? Her tortoise eggs are pretty good. Mm. I'd like to eat a panda. Why? I think they would be succulent and delicious. Like they just kind of lounge around, eat a bunch of bamboo. Mm. They always look depressed. I want to eat a sad animal. Sad animal. I want to see. I want to take. I just want to taste their sadness. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> Elephant. Elephant could be cool. Would you eat an elephant? Sure. There's not a lot I wouldn't eat. I know I know people are gonna hate me for this, but I'd I'd probably eat like if I knew it was dog, I'd probably eat dog. I mean, you know. So a dog lot of strays running around, you could eat dog right now, tonight. Mm. Would you eat a person? <laughs> I mean, that's really where the whole conversation's going. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know. I would. You would eat a person? Long pig, sure. Just Long once, pig. why not? Just just once? Just to figure what it out. What happens if You're it's... You're about to die. Yeah. What uh, happens if what what? What happens if you like it a little too much? What, well, what no, happens I if... guess I'm a cannibal now. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck everything? Just cannibal? Late oh, PJ yeah. Orc. Ran a periodical in the 1700s called American Carnivore. And he often made the argument that to eat an orphan was not cruel, but gave the person purpose. Oh my god! Yeah. No! Fuck. What are those things even coming out? They're like rocket daggers things? It looks like flying knives. Ah. So... 
How was the argument that it gave an orphan purpose? Well, orphan is an orphan is a purposeless being. Oh my god! It it is neither loved nor provides love to anyone. Jeez. You know, it's a kid, so it can't was, really was this, work. Was was this for real, or was that like satire, like uh, um, a uh, modest proposal? Oh, it's all real, man. Jeez. And he ate one. He ate an orphan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ate lots of different shit. He once went to Mexico and stood in a field during monarch mating season for nine hours and consumed, by his count, 1,200 of them. Good lord! He said it was a sweet but intangible meat like cotton candy. Wow! Yes. Uh, he refused to eat anything that wasn't alive at one point. He would garnish his meals with smaller animals. Well, I mean, all like all stuff you eat were alive at one point. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like anything that wasn't like an animal. Exactly. American hero. <laughs> I'm having real problems with this level. Fuck. Damn! It's because you're not focusing. This level's way, way easier than that airplane thing. Yeah. I don't know, I just... Remember, you don't have to go fast. There's no time limit. I'm trying to keep a rhythm. There is no rhythm, man. You're not good enough to speedrun this, so just, you know, don't speed. die. Not speed running. I'm just kind of. I'm just saying. There's no. There's no natural rhythm to it. Oh, because you die a lot anyway. So you might as well just slow it down. And you know, all right, here we maybe go. Maybe create some suspense. Maybe some suspense. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll plunge to my death. Maybe. Uh, jump, jump. I'm trying to get the. Oh, wait a second. I wonder if I can. Yeah! Nice. I wonder if there's anything up here. Nope. But there's totally a fish that I'm going to grab. And fuck those three bags of money. It's not worth it. We're just going to move forward. We're going to beat this goddamn game. Don't follow the money. It's a trick. Yeah, I guess your greed kills you in this game quite a bit. Yeah, I believe that's one of the main ideas, yeah. You're just getting getting reliant on that thing now. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's like one of the best items in the game. The air knife. Air knife, dude. Oh shit. Whole castle's moving foreground. Ooh. Yeah, man. You gotta make it fancy. Huh. Oh! Yeah. Ah! Gotcha! Nice. Ha ha! Nice. Oh man! And then we have a color swap or palette swap. What's his, what? What makes him so special? He's a different color. Oh, he has a down attack. And he could jump. You know what? We're, get we're, him. Yeah, we're gone. We're gone. We're just gonna get. I'm just gonna hit that, and then we're gonna pull out my own gear. Pardon me as I whip this out. Damn. Damn. I don't know what you're trying to do. Uh, I was just gonna ride it up there. You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna kill these guys. Seems seems like the best option. Ow. A lot of dedicated people working for a freaking Tinker Knight. Maybe he pays well. Right. Benefits. I mean, he is lord of this realm. He's basically just destabilizing the government of an entire nation. Hmm. You ever think about that? Yeah, man. Shovel asshole. Maybe you're the terrorist. <laughs> Maybe people were way better off after like that evil enchantress got uh got put into power. Maybe she. Maybe she's evil because she can make the de uh, make the decisions you can't. Yeah. She's there. She's there to make the hard choices. Yeah, man. You know, nobody said it'd be easy. Stability above all else. What are the political ramifications of this game? You're just some shitty anarchist. Doesn't know what's going on about Star World War Three. 
or one, or I don't know when the age of this game is set. Ow! Corpsed. Corpsed. Of corpse. This level's a lot shorter than the other one. Yeah. Did you just go to like the last level and then beat it? Now you're going back to like these easier ones. No, no, it's uh, you get to choose them like Mega Man, just like uh, I choose to love you. I love you too. <laughs>